Hi, this is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. One question I get all the time is, what happens to your solar panels when it snows? Well, you're about to find out. Of course, once a panel is covered in snow, it will make very little or no power at all. However, as you will see, depending upon the circumstances, it may only take a few hours for the panels to re-emerge. Sunday morning, about 8 a.m., the first sunshine to hit these panels since the storm stopped last night. We have approximately 10 to 14 inches on the ground, although high winds have skewed that depth everywhere. This is my end phase enlightened panel monitoring station for my 25 panels. If a panel is gray in color, it's asleep and not producing power. If it's black, it's awake but producing very little or no power. And if it's any color blue, the lighter the color, the more energy it's producing. Here is a live shot of my house at approximately 9.45 in the morning. Even though all panels are covered in snow, some of them are making minimal amounts of electricity. Regardless of the power production, the sun is penetrating through all depths of snow, reaching the panels and warming them up ever so slowly. As it continues to warm, the snow begins to melt. The edges of the panels begin to show through. And before you know it, snow begins to slide off. These panels are on a 35 degree angle, and as you can see, after several hours, the snow is completely gone. Now I have seven panels running at full capacity. Now in contrast, in our previous storm, this avalanched in one fail swoop and was clear in less than three hours. Alright, let's go back to the top portion of my roof. Here, the roof angle is 18 degrees. This poses a more difficult challenge for the panels to free themselves. In similar storms to this one, it's typically taken anywhere from three to five days for the panels to be completely free and clear. Obviously, every situation will be different due to temperature, wind, rain, cloud cover, and angle of roof. Keep in mind, these were large storms that created wind drifts 14 to 18 inches high on the roof. During small storms, I've seen the snow on all panels slough off in hours. And here's some good advice. Don't risk your life trying to save a few dollars on electricity. Unless you have a flat roof and can access it and operate on it safely, or you can work from the ground, it's just not worth it. I hope you found this video informative. If you want to learn more about sustainability, geothermal, wind, and solar, please contact me at njrenewableenergy.com. Thank you.